are your goals for um, season as a coach for yourself? Uh, well, just again, just trying to help each runner get to their you know best talent level and um, peak at the right time. Obviously, we have conference championships coming up in two weeks, so just want to really focus on uh -huh. getting those kids to do all the right things and, and really just peak at the at the right time and. I think we're on a good path, so kind of hoping that it keeps going. <laughs> so conference, what is, what is it you say it was called? Conference championship. Conference championship. What has your team done to prepare mentally and physically for that? Well, we've had several races. Um, this is going to be a new course that a lot of the kids actually haven't raced at because it's down in San Diego. But we have practiced out at Hawkins Road, which is very similar to that course, really dusty and hilly. Um, and so we just kind of do a lot of race simulation and, you know, Get ready for it that way. The kids have put in a lot of work this year. I'm very excited. Probably um, have the most amount of talent this year in the five years that I've been here. Uh -huh. So it's exciting. Yeah, that's very exciting. Um, as far as your team goals for this year? Um, our team goals is basically just to compete at the highest level we can. We've been really working on team chemistry and getting the kids to just you know, become cohesive and work together and push each other. Uh, our leaders have done a great job um, to lead the team, and we're just trying to get all seven athletes that are on the team um, to really come together and, and run well. So the team's goal last year, uh, last couple years, we've been in the top part of our conference. We're just trying to finish for the women's side, hopefully in the top three, and on the men's side, top four, top five would be good and get some individuals to get all conference honors and also possibly getting a women's team to nationals. Wow. Um, yes, we have some high goals, but they're very attainable with the talent that we have this year. Yeah. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Exactly. I tell the kids that all the time. <laughs> yes. So. That's one of the famous quotes I live by as an athlete as well. So what would you say that you enjoy the most about coaching? Oh, Probably a lot just, of things. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I feel so blessed to have this opportunity um, to be around these student athletes and to help them achieve their potential. And, you know, it's, I come to work every day and it's fun every day. You know, I'm always happy. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm always smiling and in a good mood, and it's because I love what I do. That is great. So, what um, advice would you give to future college uh, runners that are looking to play? and run at the collegiate level? Um, the One of the things I look at when I'm recruiting high school kids too is just um, to not do so much mileage and keep the emphasis on having fun. Most of the kids that I have here came from programs where they didn't run super high mileage and they've had a lot of success because then once they get into a good collegiate program, um, they're really untapped and so as a coach, it's a coach's dream to get one of those kids that hasn't already ran so many miles that they're burnt out. So I look for that and I encourage high school kids to just enjoy running and to keep it fun. At the end of the day, it's got to be fun and that's what keeps you going. So just have fun with it. I did have one of your um, one of your runners in here and I interviewed, a, I'm going to say a couple, um, but I have to ask you, what is your, um, what is the normal warm-up run <laughs> for cross country? It's like they were right. Uh, usually the women do about a mile and a half, and the men anywhere from a mile and a half to two miles. And then the cool down, so that's oh, the warm-up. Oh, there's a cool down. Yeah, they didn't talk about the cool down. So then they do their actual race or workout, and then you do a cool down, which is supposed to be equally as long, so a mile and a half to two miles. I told them, I joked around with them, I said, I would always see you guys, and like we would just get done running our mile and a half, and then um, I would ask them, oh, you guys just got done. No, we just started. That was our warm-up. That was your warm-up. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of running. Those kids work really hard, really hard. I praise them for looking that good in shape. Okay, so I know academics is very important um, with athletes all around the world. What do you, what are some of the things that you do to keep your team on the right track as far as GPA and all that? You know, we've had a lot of success. Usually distance runners are really good in the classroom because you have to be so disciplined to be able to do the sport that we do. And so they do a good job. We have a lot of academic All-Americans and All-CCA All-Academic. Um, a lot of that is just they're, they're driven to do what they need to. So I don't have, I'm lucky I don't have to do much, but we do do grade checks and just, you know, I always stress the importance of you're a student first and then an athlete. 
Um, but we've been fortunate. We've got last year one of our guys, Dawson, was the Elite 89 award winner, and that goes to the highest GPA out of the entire men's track and field teams from 240 institutions all over the country. Um, he had the highest GPA. So we've got good examples in our leaders, and hopefully the younger uh, generation of freshmen and sophomores understand the importance of doing well in both the classroom and then also in the sport. And as a team, do you guys have a GPA goal, or as coaches, do you assign um, one? Usually our team GPA goal is to beat women's soccer. Which because, is pretty high. Yeah. <laughs> I'm aware team, of that. Yes. Um, it's really difficult, but yeah. They've, what, been, what is they've it? been getting the award the last couple, couple years, years, so <laughs> we're trying to bring it back. What is their, what is their goal again? Um, I have no idea. It's, up, it's pretty up there. It's high. It's like yeah. three point. Five, five or say. six. Yeah. yeah, we're close. We were like three point two seven or something um, around that. So we're coming after them. Get in there. <laughs> um, moving forward, uh, as I know you have little ones, correct? I do. I have two little boys. And as far as your plans with them, do you see them running as well, keeping it in the family? <laughs> uh, well, my husband played basketball here, so I think there's a little family feud on. What, what we want our children to do. But if I have a daughter, if I have another kid and it's a girl, definitely I would hope she'd be a runner. So you have two boys? Yep, two, two boys. boys. One recent, right? Yeah, a year ago. Yeah. I have to tell you, listeners, okay, she she went in, you know, had had the little one, and she still looks great. I mean, thank you. to you. Thank you. look you. great. Thanks. I hope my husband's listening. <laughs> Hi, husband. Okay, as we um, conclude our interview, is there anything else you would like to say as far as upcoming um, meets you have? Yeah, we actually have a home cross-country race this weekend. The women um, and the men are racing a 5K. Men's race goes off at 9. It's here at Santa Yep, Claus. here on campus. Fast little 5K. Uh, men race at 9, women at 9.30. So we're really trying to get some support out some there. Some fans, fans yes. hear that. <laughs> Come out and support. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, I'd like to take the time to thank you for thank you. Um, coming in here. And this is your first time in here? Yeah, so sorry if I was a little <laughs> No, I had fun. What do you think of the radio station? Great, this is great. Did, you know, did you know we had a radio station prior uh, to this? I did not. I always ask that. See, that's my job here. I'm trying to get you know athletes known and the radio station. So hopefully I do my job. Yeah, you guys are doing a great job. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for coming in. Um, I hope to do another interview and let me know how the team's going. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you.